Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm excited to bring you a super easy recipe. We're gonna be making a slow cooker keto chicken specifically for tacos this time. And you only need three ingredients. You're gonna need three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. You can also sub this for chicken thighs as well if you want a fattier cut of meat, especially on keto. You're gonna need some type of taco seasoning. Now I suggest to stray away from the packaged kind because it is loaded with carbs. I'm using the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. It's delicious. You can make your own homemade seasoning too. You can just search on Pinterest and make your own and it's going to be less carbs than the ones that are packaged in the supermarket. And then you're going to need some salsa. I only used about a half a cup of salsa because that's what I had on hand in the fridge. The original recipes for these type of dump and go chicken recipes usually call for an entire jar, but it worked out fine with just half a cup. So use what you got y'all. Let's get to cooking. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. So the first thing I'm doing is just dumping my chicken in the crock pot. This is the easiest thing ever, y'all. I'm gonna season it with this Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. This stuff is so good. You can definitely taste the lime in it. So if you have a Trader Joe's, their seasonings are on point. They are definitely keto friendly and they are inexpensive. So I highly recommend. Now this is not one of the three ingredients because it's optional, but I added about two tablespoons of butter. Butter makes everything better, especially when we're on our keto journey, right? And I'm gonna cook this on low for about six hours. I actually only cooked mine for five and a half and it was perfect. If you're doing dark meat, you might have to cook it a little bit longer. This is what mine looked after five and a half hours. And I'm using this hack that I got from my really good friends, Mark and Vanessa, where you just use a handheld mixer to mix up all your chicken and shred it. I don't know about y'all, but I used to do it by hand with forks and it would take forever and it didn't look in this good. It was never as fine as this. I'm also gonna chop up some fresh cilantro, also optional as well, and top it on the top of our chicken. I just think it gives it a really nice authentic taste when we're making tacos. And I put a little bit more seasoning on top. You don't have to do that either. Then you have all your toppings, which aren't a part of the three ingredients as well. But I mean, we can't have tacos without sour cream and avocado. And I'm going to be using mine for nachos night one. But I wanted to show y'all the hubs likes to do his in a taco shell. And y'all ask me about this all the time. So take some parchment paper and get any kind of cheese that you want. It doesn't matter. Make a cheese like circle. I'm just eyeballing this here. I don't have measurements and then you're gonna put it in the microwave, yes, the microwave, for 90 seconds, and that's it. That's all you need to do, y'all. It's the simplest thing ever. I get asked about cheese shells all the time, and it's exactly 90 seconds and just cheese. You could add a little seasoning to it as well if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. Then I'm gonna take it in my parchment and put it in my bowl to shape the bowl and let it sit there for about a minute. Then I'm gonna take it out, and as you can see, it's nice and crispy, and it's conform to the bowl ready to go for all my toppings so now i'm going in with some of my shredded chicken that i made the night before we're having leftovers topping it with some cheese and also going to put some shredded lettuce and then some sour cream and some hot sauce i always add avocado to mine but he's not a fan so this is the end product of the cheese shell version of the shredded chicken meat I just been eating mine without a cheese shell because I'm just trying to eliminate as much unnecessary stuff on my keto cut I got going on as possible. But if you're just starting keto y'all and you want something delicious, try out those cheese shells. It's gonna give you that crunch that you want without the carbs of a regular shell. So that is keto crock pot chicken, y'all. Really easy, simple ingredients. We're going budget friendly here. We're going minimal. Keeping it simple is the motto for 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and give it a share with somebody that is just starting keto or on keto and needs something to simplify their keto life. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of the family. We do all things health related and keto here, and we'd love to have you. So make sure to smash that subscribe button down below before you leave. Thank you so much for watching. If you do make this, y'all, and you are on Instagram, Instagram, please give me a huge tag over on Instagram. I love resharing your posts and your stories. So if you make this in the upcoming future, I love to see it. Definitely give me a tag. Y'all have an amazing Friday and an awesome weekend, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, y'all.